And good morning, everyone. It looks like we have our audio situation figured out. And once again, I'm joined with the lovely ladies from the West Yellowstone Chamber of Commerce. A lot happening as the park opens today. So just wanted to talk a little bit about what that brings uh, to here to West Yellowstone. Well, first of all, we're going to have the folks who will actually start to arrive to visit Yellowstone. And very excitingly, they will be able to go in by all modes of winter transportation. So snowmobiles, snow coaches, and the new low compression tire coaches. So we're excited. And what does this bring uh, to West Yellowstone? I know a lot of people think of it as a summer destination, uh, but what's it like here during the winter? You know, winter is really exciting, and if you ask a lot of locals, it's probably one of our favorite times, um, just because of the different modes of transportation, like Mary Sue mentioned. But we also have a lot of events. It's probably, for us, we have a lot more local events going on. Um, this weekend kicks off our Kids in Snow weekends for the winter, where we offer all sorts of outdoor activities, plus educational programs for kids that are visiting, plus our local kids. Um, and that's something that's going into its sixth full year, so we're really excited about that. Um, we, we host multiple ski races and events during the winter, and then a lot of it ends up with our big snowmobile expo at the end of the winter. So we have an array of events all winter long, and so we see a lot of people coming and going for those, and so it's really exciting for us to, to get more things going locally during the winter. Absolutely. And uh, we'll list all of those events if we can get that link from the website and put it on ours. So Absolutely. if people want to check that out, they can head over to KBZK or KXLF.com. And I mentioned before, a lot of people say the park is a completely different place in the winter. Can you guys just, for people that have never been, uh, what it's like and why they should come down here to experience a different side of Yellowstone? Well, first of all, it's, it's considerably quieter than it is in many of the other months that you can visit. But as well, it's almost magical because the way the cold and the steam and the animals and it's just a magical time, as I said, a magical time. Absolutely. Well, the gates open today at 8 o'clock, and so right. it's going to be only those snowmobiles and snow coaches that can go through the entrance here at West Yellowstone. But then in Gardner, you can take your vehicle all the way to Cook City, and this goes all the way pretty much through mid-March that they can come down and do this? That is true, and we certainly don't want to de uh, deny the fact that those who are hardy enough can go in by uh, snowshoe or skis if they prefer. That's what I'll be doing. I'll be taking the snowshoes. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us this morning and waking up early and braving the 15 degrees. <laughs> we really appreciate it. And we're going to have more from here in West Yellowstone right up at the gate. So you're going to want to stay with us on Montana this morning. Missy, I'll send it back to you. Morgan is the sporty one in the snowshoes. I'll take the snow coach. That's, that's, that's the, my preferred method of travel.